James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, our KP indexes around the United States are saying that we're in a geomagnetic storm. And NOAA is saying this is because of a coronal hole that was Earth-facing. Well, nothing could be further than the truth. First off, we have no fast solar winds hitting Earth, or plasma for that matter. And second off, no coronal hole has been even facing Earth, more or less facing Earth long enough for winds to be ejected and travel and hit Earth. Now, the KP index is a summary of plasma and solar winds hitting Earth on a network of sensors. And each one of them is at a different location, i.e. Uh, and is tuned to a different sensitivity. We'll start out looking at our Boulder KP index. It says that the last six hours have been in a geomagnetic disturbance. Look at our Fredericksburg KP index. It says that we've been in a G1 geomagnetic storm and then a geomagnetic disturbance. Taking a look at our estimated planetary KP index, it looks like we had six hours of a G2 geomagnetic storm, followed by three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. This is our latest and greatest updated KP index, exclusively used by NOAA and NASA. This information is not coming via, well, through our Discover and A satellites, not coming from the direction of the sun. I will check behind the sun and see what's going on. I am guessing that we have all the solar wind coming in from behind, behind Earth, behind Earth, and they don't want you to know. Finally, our College KP Index, again, a summary of the solar winds and plasma hitting Earth on a network of sensors, says that we've been in a G1 geomagnetic storm for the last six hours. Now, let's see what the satellites say. Let's see what the actual measurement of solar winds and plasma is, and let's see what the backside of the sun looks like. All right, over to GOES-19 Solar Ultraviolet Imager looking at a sizable coronal hole. And you would think, hey, that's where the solar winds are coming from, but it's not facing Earth yet. And even after it is Earth-facing, it would take at least 40 hours for the solar winds to arrive. I'm going to prove that they haven't arrived, at least from the sun's direction, from our Discover and ACE satellites. So it's not because we have a coronal hole spewing solar winds. The only way solar winds are created is from a coronal hole. Plasma or coronal mass ejection could be created from, well, a filament eruption or a solar flare. Either one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've already checked the backside of the planet and there's no pressure, no density, no solar winds hitting the backside of Earth, period. I would tell you there was, I was expecting there to be. We're looking at Discover Solar Wind Satellite orbiting a million miles above Earth, Sun being 93 million miles away. What do we see? Well, plasma never goes over 10 centimeters cubed, which is the space where the threshold doesn't even go close to it. And solar winds? What a joke. The peak of solar winds is 5, 557. You couldn't even get a geomagnetic disturbance out of this. There's not another spot all day long that they've been stronger than this, period. This is nothing but questionable and an embarrassment for NASA. Temperatures are completely normal, right at normal range, slightly above normal. So it's not plasma. It's not solar winds. What else is there? There's nothing. All right, here we go again. Our shields are, in fact, down. Plasma never goes over 10 centimeters cubed, or they would have made a new category for it. It bounces back and forth from 1 to 8 several times. Solar winds never go over about 547. We looked at it right there. And about 2300, 2400 UTC time. 
That is when they say we were in a geomagnetic storm, a G2 geomagnetic storm, with the winds at 547 kilometers per second. That would be impossible. We see that the temperatures are slightly elevated, and I do mean slightly elevated. I'm calling BS. Something's wrong here. All right, what do we know for sure? Something's broken here. All the KP indexes indicate that we're seeing either solar winds or plasma, and we're seeing neither. And we've looked at both our Discover satellite and our A satellite. I've had enough of Noah's new reindeer games, and NASA's new reindeer games. You know, when Putin said the other day that the U.S. has never been to the moon, and nor have we, you know, I've never believed him more so than now. And that said, God bless. Please share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.